What is up guys? Holy crap, why am I giggling right now? It has been, it has been way too long since I have recorded. Obviously, it has been way too long. The last time I recorded anything, I still had long hair. But now it's all kind of gone and it's great and I, oh god, it's amazing. I wanted to do an update vlog from the last vlog that I posted when I was still at my father's house. I wanted to, I guess, finally get things off my chest and finally talk and vent and see how many people dig it because <laughs> if you don't dig it I don't care that's another thing I'm gonna get to later we're gonna we're gonna reverse a few weeks and go back to about the time I recorded that last vlog um, I told I told my father that I was going to be gone for the summer visiting my aunt and he, you know, he agreed with it, it was whatever, <laughs> and I was just like, I'm out of here, I'm freaking out of here. Uh, like, I haven't contacted him since I left. I haven't called him, I haven't tried to make a single, a single effort to contact him, and a lot of you are probably gonna think I'm, I'm a bitch for that, that I'm like a complete asshole for not contacting my father. If you didn't watch the last vlog, you will, you know, you don't know why I'm doing things that I'm doing now, you know? You don't know why I'm not contacting my father, and, and you know, if you don't know, maybe you should go watch that last vlog, and you'll see why. I mean, I'm at that point where I'm not really holding things back anymore, you know? I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on, tell you exactly how things are, and, you know, so that way people will quit questioning me and I don't look like that person that's crying wolf, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sad. And then someone's like, why are you so sad? I don't want to talk about it. No, I will talk about it. So, but for, for the moment, I have not contacted him since I left. What is today now? That last vlog I recorded was on June 2nd. It is, what the heck is today? It is June 27th. And so much has changed. Obviously, you can tell by the room I'm in. This is not obviously not my room. This is my second cousin's room. He obviously loves wrestling, if you can't tell by like, what is that, Seamus and John Cena, and I think that's CM Punk. And then you can see like these little numbers over here for, oh god, if I can point right, for Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I know my wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's not just because of the freaking posters. I, like, I used to watch wrestling. Anyways, that's a stupid side comment. I'm probably gonna pull that out. Maybe not. Anyways, so going a few days forward to like the day of the Markiplier show, which by the way, I still need to work on that vlog. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a mega vlog. I'm gonna throw like pictures and videos in. I'm still hesitant about even throwing videos in because the footage was so crappy. But regardless, I, I'm probably gonna do it anyways. Um, but, so, flashing forward to a few days, uh, you know, to the day of the show when I finally got everything packed up in my car and I left and it was, it was about a good, oh god, three, four hour drive, give or take, to, uh, to the Dallas area where I met some people, some friends that I've been meaning to meet for a while and some people... Some people, you know, know that situation a whole lot more, so I, that's something I won't go into. But, um, so I met some friends, we hung out, had a really good time, and then I went to go to Mark's show, met a really awesome chick, she, like, her name uh, on YouTube is Sarah Drake. I don't know her real name, I don't think anyone wants to know her real name, just like, the majority of the people we play with, or, you know, the majority of the people I play with, we don't give out our real names. <laughs> So, uh, so, you know, her, her name is Sarah Drake, and she's like a total, total badass, and I'm just like, holy crap, there's another gamer chick that just, that's like, more out there than I am, and it's just like, I wanna, I wanna be more out there, I mean, dang! <laughs> but she's, she's really, really cool, and I'm so glad I met her, I'm glad I met a friend, like, I met somebody at a show like that, and, and, you know, we're talking now, and we actually did... Oh god, what do we do? I think 
one of us, it was either it was either Sarah's, I, I didn't record anything because I already have enough footage recorded as it is, but it could have been Sarah's or it could have been our friend uh, Moon, it could have been uh, Clockers, uh, somebody possibly recorded the session that we were all in together, which was really, really funny. It was awesome. And if nobody recorded that, then that's okay. That's just, you know, something we can all hold very dear to our hearts. <laughs> so after the show, uh, you know, the hung out at, the, at my friend's house for a night, and uh, then the next day I drove down here to my aunt's house, which, as I actually stated in my last vlog, I still wish I could have done this sooner. I've been so happy here. I have been just, like, I don't want to get religious and say I've been incredibly blessed, but I've just been feeling, I haven't felt like this in years, which is really strange. I have not felt happy like this in a very long time. And so, just like, just being here, just, uh, just, I don't know, I'm already working and, and and I'm trying to find a place to live and I'm actually trying to find a better job which really sucks in, in a way that I'm working because I, you know, I really wish I could concentrate on YouTube but maybe in the future if I ever become famous, you know, it's whatever. But, um, <laughs> why did I put my thumbs like that? That was weird. I'm trying to do it like that but I did like that. Stop it, miss. Anyways. <laughs> so, made it here, got a job and things are things are good, you know, I've been fighting my anxiety issues that I have mentioned in the previous vlog as well. Fix the hair of a power. So, <laughs> so anyways, um, now that I'm here, I feel like I can actually concentrate on me and I'm not having to worry about somebody that's just gonna freak me out for, you know, hours and hours a day to the point where I can't even move. Um, trying to continue on with my little change, like, I, I don't know, like, at the beginning of this month I was talking about how I wanted to change. And, you know, by, by the simple fact that I have gathered whatever I could and left my father's house. And, you know, I even went, you know, and cut my hair for the first time in like four or five years I cut my hair. So, uh, that was, that was definitely something. Uh, and I'm trying to continue on with my change and it's it's kind of difficult because I've been dealing with some with some things all in here because well guess what my my entire family isn't perfect I know that but I've, I've been I've been dealing with some anxiety issues and uh, I don't know it's it's kind of been brought to my attention which I should have realized this, but it's been kind of brought to my attention how... I guess the, the right word is pessimistic. Like, how pessimistic I can be, and how I apologize for everything. I even apologize for apologizing. <laughs> it's like, and like, it was literally just this morning, as I was leaving to go look for a, a better job, um, my aunt was like, oh, I'll, I'll get the door as you leave, and I'm just like, yeah, because I suck at locking doors, and I can't really handle it very well, you know, I was being jokey about it, but it's a really sad habit that I have developed throughout the years, and I've, like, like, I've apologized for, like, these stupidest things, and some people have just recently started realizing that, and I'm not gonna apologize for that, because I'm trying to learn not to apologize so much. But all, I'm, all I can say instead of, instead of apologizing is that I'm not perfect and I'm working on at least uh, smoothing out the rough edges is what I'm thinking of. And so I am kind of working on my attitude towards things. I'm working on like my perspective on things because... I, let's face it, I have gone through so much in like, in several years. Uh, my last vlog, I was like, oh yeah, I've gone through so much in a year. No, it wasn't just one year. It was been like four or five years that I've gone through hell. And now it's like, it's time for me to stop freaking out about the little things. It's time for me to start being happy and stop caring what people think and what they say 
and I'm, it's, I'm working on it. Like, I, I'm really, really, I guess, I'm really striving to, to work on my attitude. It's like my biggest thing. Well, for the moment, I think that that situation, that area, that's going to be it. Um, but I guess I can I guess I can update you guys on uh, where I am in life if I haven't done that already. I I am working again. Um, I have met a special someone, which that's as far as it's going to go because for the moment we're going to keep that completely private. For YouTube reasons, maybe. I don't know. Depends on what he wants to do. Shut up, miss. <laughs> so, anyways, and it's just like, it, it could be because of there's so many things that happened at once that's kind of made me happy. So many good things for once happened, and it's just like, it's made me feel really good inside. It's just like, you know, I'm really happy. <laughs> and. I want to. I want to continue. I want to continue with this happiness that I'm currently on. This little happiness train I'm on, and I don't want it to stop. I have. I, I mean, to make this to make this situation a bit more broad, I've dealt with hell pretty much my entire life. You know, very very few moments where I'm actually legit happy, and since I've been here, I've been nothing but happy. A little anxious because, well, let's face it, new area, and uh, you know, I'm still I'm still doing that stupid thing of trying to be perfect and uh, trying to be like that that awesome person that people I feel people want me to be. But the the past couple days, it's just been a little it's been different because I know I'm not perfect. I know I can't be perfect. But to somebody else, if they said I was perfect, then that's all I need to hear. That's all I need to know. You know, just just being me, just doing what I have been doing. That's fine. You know, so. <laughs> but... I think, I think I've recorded long enough. I think I've, I think I've done my updates. <laughs> and, uh... Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for more videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to work on those on my days off if I have time. And um, you get an extra special treat at the end of this vlog. Instead of the usual uh, the usual outro song that you hear, you're gonna actually hear something that's gonna be made by me. An outro song made by me. And maybe in the comments below or something, maybe you guys can tell me what you think about it. Because uh, I've, I've shown a few people, I've even shown some of like my, my Discord friends, and I was like, hey, what do you think of this? It's like a possible outro, and you know, some of them were like, oh yeah, that's great! And then I have that one that's like, it needs more bass! And I'm just like, really? <laughs> so, but regardless, I think it sounds really kind of awesome, and I didn't think I'd have the ability to make it sound that awesome. So, um, again, comment below what you think of the new outro song, and uh, you're gonna hear it in this vlog, but after July, you're gonna start hearing it in the rest of the videos. It's just kind of an experiment right now, so I can see what people think. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Thank you for, for going along with this little adventure that I've been going on. And thank you for understanding with, you know, with everything. You know, I live up to my name of being misunderstood. The fact that people understand what I say or they understand what I go through is just like... It's just a simple wow. It's just... Wow! <laughs> so... Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!